Google Slides is one of the most powerful tools in the Google Suite. One of the things that can be a little bit frustrating with Google Slides is the students making their own copy and then you not having the ability to edit. This means if you wanted to put together an interactive notebook for science, you would have to have it completely done before you start teaching the lesson. And as we know, we don't have that time currently and or ever. And also, some things change as we go along. We like to build as we're going along. With this trick, you'll be able to do just that. I'm going to start in what I call my teacher copy master. Here I'm building a mixtures, or mixtures and solutions interactive slide deck for my students and I want to have the ability to add on to these slides as we go along. I'm going to keep my first couple slides as normal and here I'm just going to put in a blank slide or I'm going to put in some placeholders and get everything set up. After I do that I'm going to duplicate this slide a bunch of times and to do that I just use command D. All right, so I have my 30 slides here. What I want to do next is I'm going to go to File, Make a Copy, Entire Presentation. I'm going to change this to Mixtures and Solutions Student Copy. This is going to create an exact copy of my teacher copy, what I'm calling the master slide deck. From here, I want the, these to just stay there. That's fine. But I'm gonna go to the fourth slide and click on it and then scroll all the way down to the bottom, hold down my shift key and click on 30 and then press delete. Now I'm gonna go back into my teacher copy, select slide four, select slide 30, and I'm going to copy this and now I'm going to paste it in here. The reason I'm doing this is we're calling this linking the slides. I want to make sure to select link to the original presentation. Now whatever I change on here is going to go over on here as well. Before turning this in to either Google Classroom or Schoology, I want to make sure I go into my share settings. You want to make sure that you change that to East Penn SD. Okay. Now I'm going to go into Google Classroom create the assignment here. Add from my Google Drive and I'm going to select Mixtures and Solutions the student copy not the teacher copy and select insert and make a copy for each student. If you are doing this inside Schoology you will use the Google Resource app to create the same thing. I'm going to select assign. Now that it's assigned let's go over to the student account to see what it looks like. Here is the mixtures and solutions, so I can make that copy, and here's my copy. And here's slide four. It just says day and assignment name. Let's go back to the teacher master copy. If I want to say, this is now changed, so I say day four, separating mixtures, and then I would have a picture in here of some sort. Let's say I just copy this picture over and even add in square that says, double click, write your thoughts here. Okay, so now if I go back into my student copy, you'll notice immediately it says update. As soon as I select update, I now have the updated version of what my teacher did. So now I can edit here and I can type anything in this box. And if I go to five, there's still nothing here. But as soon as the teacher changes something as simple as the background color, when I go to that slide, you're going to see update pop up. And now I can change that. So this is a great way for you to be able to build these slide decks as you go along and not have to build a 30 slide deck just to start.